I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? It's a little rundown, but the rent is right. This everyone? Riddler said you had a luchador in the mix. Bane? Oh, he came down with the case of the left behinds. Oops. <laughs> we are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Enchanté. Oh, I didn't know this party was so formal. You got the toy we talked about, beautiful? Get the Lady Sparkly's out of the safe, John. She ain't doing this out of the goodness of her heart like the rest of us. Brucey, be a doll and give Kitty a hand. I ain't touching that popsicle. I got some thinking to do. Well, let's get to... What are we doing? Well, we're going to... extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but... Things change. Get his head in a good position. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids, press the button, and scan away. Ugh, that's gross. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. You're right. Riddler killed him. But it was meant for me. Damn it, Bruce. I'm... This isn't all on you. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? Well, I shouldn't be that much of a shock. My father was a crime lord. Apples and trees and all. Glad to know you've grown more comfortable with lying since we last met. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. Did you... Did you come back for me? Yes, Bruce. Because the world revolves around you. I'm amazed you can fit that big head of yours under your little criminal cap. You done? His peepers never looked so good. John, pay the lady. Don't spend them all in one place. You get the rest when we're inside. That wasn't the deal I made with Riddler. Take it up with him. Harley! You'll find I'm not this 
disposed of so easily! You overstepped when you left him. And now it's time to pay the price. No. Oh, this one's actually got some brains. Everyone else better be smart, too. You! Ah, ah, ah. You are a means to an end. When this is over... Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming. Because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak... It nearly caused the demise of Gotham's favorite luchador. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is... It's gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Don't threaten me. Careful, Bruce. You're valuable, but not irreplaceable. Remember that. It's not way! <laughs> Excuse me, peanut gallery? You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. And I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then, let's get back to work! If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Hmm. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne! Come here a second. Thanks for vouching back there. Hey, it's tough in the trenches. Hey, we gotta look out for one another. Otherwise... Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for ya. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop. But look at this. And keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. Maybe you should call IT. I don't know whether to laugh or hit you so hard your eyeballs fall out. Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who are cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the black site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do... Maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. Sounds enticing. I like treats. Then get on out of here and earn it. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I meant- Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm, good point. Take it too. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn bites girl? Well, there's 
Never a dull moment with John around. Why do I get the feeling that's not a good thing? <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You, Harley. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent puddin. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shotgun. I want that black site location. I can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. Why don't you two go that way? Don't you see if anyone's around? Come on, John. We'll go check the other side. <laughs> Meow. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Harley's crew is a threat, and they are moving fast. Towards what? Do you know what their end goal is yet? No. No one's talking. Bruce, you are the best chance of figuring out what that is. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait. Uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start. Over. It's fine, John. Riddler's eyes. They're a key to a door that lies somewhere in Gotham. And Harley doesn't know the location. She asked me to find it. Stay put for now and maintain your cover at all costs. This is our chance to get ahead of this train. So I say, Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> we snooped around. There's a police car nearby, but no officer in sight. And it could really use a wash. Maybe it's just placed there to scare off looters, but either way, we should be careful. Okay, let's find a way in. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry. I brought my key. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall who's boss. Hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? Who's there? Don't move! Wait a minute. I know you. You're Bruce Wayne. Uh, guilty is charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the heights. Back off, detective. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. It sure as hell is my business. I'm the goddamn police and you're breaking the law. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock, right. Uh, look, there's... actually a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, Jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Oh, come on, now, Detective. We can work this out, just the two of us. I disagree. 
Bruce freaking Wayne. Unbelievable. Wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't eat the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. <laughs> oh, what a satisfying noise. Can I do it again? I want to record it from my room to... No, John. Let's go. He won't be out for long. Come on, let's get moving. a little warmth. Huh, sounds like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Look, there's no sense in fooling yourself. People are who they are. Cherry worldview. Someone once told me I was nothing more than a thief. I guess that's all I'll ever be. What? Hey, Bruce. You have? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. I don't trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. You're right, John. I am. Of course I am. <laughs> Watch out, in case she tries to make a move. I've been meaning to ask it. The green hair, what what is what is that? I don't know, what's with your black hair? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm a little sensitive about my style. No, didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I don't remember anything about myself before Arkham, and when I came to. Well, here it was. I guess it's natural. John, we're friends, right? So I gotta ask, what do you see in Harley? Her ruthlessness. The way her accent comes and goes when she's mad. The way she lets things escalate into violence. <laughs> Why do you hate Riddler so much? I've mentioned this before, but uh, he always interrupted me. Never let me get to the punchline. It takes a lot of confidence to tell a joke, you know? Made me look like an idiot! In front of Harley. Those other guys. But hey, uh, I guess I have the last laugh now. wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. Some kind of platform. Let me help you out there, Bruce. I don't want you to bend your cover bow. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe you could stay? Oh, no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Hey 
is something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called the Agency. Let me get this straight. You're partnered up with someone? I hope they meet your high moral standards. I didn't come back to Gotham to start up this dance again. But seeing as how both our lives are on the line, let's try to be professional. We can work together. For now. If we have to. Well, I'm glad you're here. I still... I've missed you. I can't... Not yet. And certainly not here. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. You're better than that. You once told me I was nothing more than a thief. So this is... surprising. Yoo-hoo! Can you two get a move on? Playing guard is getting pretty poor. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. But we've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. Here we go. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. Hephaestus protocol enacted. The decryptor! You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, their group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius, this is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. Forceful as always. <laughs> Bye, Bruce. It's been fun. You've gotten rusty. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit! You're coming out blurry! I 
forgot how skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully bold move, considering we just met, Mr. Wayne. This is flirting. Move, John. Harley's laptop for myself, and I'm finishing this my way. <clears throat> Harley's laptop, huh? You and I, we're going to talk somewhere else. So, John, about the laptop... Um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? I guess you could say she's my Harley. I'm not sure she's good for me, but I just can't seem to get away from her. You stop right there, Bruce Wayne. I'm tearing up. Look at this couple of weeping willies over here. <laughs> Drowning our sorrows in caffeine and sugar. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So, be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? To be honest, I, I don't. No one does. People lie to themselves about their true nature. Uh, so maybe I'm lying to myself. That would explain something I've noticed recently. I can feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, just looking for something to start it. Hey, that's who you really are? You shouldn't suppress it. But I I'm quite scrambled. Hey, that's what I like about you. And I bet that's what Harley will like, too. How does that even work? 
bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. Bane is such a loser. Yeah? What are you gonna do to him? Snuff out his light. I don't know what she would say. <laughs> yeah, I'd kill for some front row seats to that. Okay, now say something uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Boys, love me! So, so what do you think? Pretty good, right? That was perfect, John. Why did you think you couldn't do this? Really? I guess I'm just a natural lady killer. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham Puddin'? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny! Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed... the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. That's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. Our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? Nicotine patch. Happy now? <laughs> Don't look so pleased with yourself. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? No, I didn't like you. You don't take time off. Waller ordered me to stand down. You're kidding! The nerve on her! I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just Bane. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. 
But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. I don't know anything about that. Maury was an arms dealer, and Riddler targeted him the same way he did Fox. My gut is telling me that's no coincidence. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Damn it, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. I've got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Please, Jim. Don't. This is between you and me. I thought you were better than this, Batman. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you... You better not tell her we're coming. He sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selina and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't... I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. I trust her. But can you trust her to do the right thing? You know what must be done. It's done now. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> We actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, John. Wow. Quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours! I'm 
Here you are, in the flesh! <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on, before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I, I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Nothing will happen to her. You have my word. All right, good. I'm trusting you on this one. Now, now when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. This is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop, behind the stack deck. I'll be there, promise. Hope to die. Won't be disappointed. <laughs> you speak, but all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the Black Site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Impressive science freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne, he's cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on! I, I slipped up! Dangerous time to make a mistake, when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid, just like you! I got mouths to feed! Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I'd have thrown you to the walls to cover my ass, right? Oh, 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 a deft turn, but it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, no, on no, here? No, 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 no. <laughs> Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? 
Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Damn it. Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? <laughs> they won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The, the laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top! Yes! That was a good one! Hey, you two! What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells. And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The bull, Bane's men, you... Maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> you have a problem, and I want to help. You time out. And you, we need to talk. Is one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Is it John? Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Apparently not. What happened? Catwoman got here first. Hey. I was hoping you'd catch up to me. I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. Glad I could be of help. Well, let's just say that I owe you one. Good. Because I need a favor. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. 
You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. Yeah, it does. That's the night I saved your life. First time I saw you. We had something then. Same as we do now. A give and a take. You want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Oh, come on. That was fun. I'd bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just... aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. Maybe it is. Maybe you're just my kind of crazy. And maybe you're mine. Well, have a good night. Selena. Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddler's like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Okay, Selena. I'll give you what you want. And what is it you think I want? Something meaningful. With someone who has your back. I've had you already. But who knows? I might be up for a repeat performance. Just promise to work with me. I'll stop playing games. We've had our fun, haven't we? I know I stole from you. And I know I haven't done enough to make that right. I came back to stop Harley's so-called pact. The Eddie I knew would have wanted that. Anything else? Us? That's just icing on the cake. No pressure, really. <laughs> Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but you only have yourself to blame for this. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Down, down! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Gentlemen, please. You have my full court. <laughs> Shut your mouth and stay down! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. 
I look to you for answers, for comfort after my father's death. Instead, you're running with a new crowd. Criminals? I hope you understand why I had to do this. It makes me question everything you've told me my entire life. Why didn't you just talk to me, Tiffany? I tried. Every time I saw you, you were with those freaks. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save Officers, it. please! I... He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Leave. I said get out. Fine. I hope whatever it is you're trying to do, you don't die. Because I'm not showing up for your funeral. He's saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it, then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation. It's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky. But leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. Makes sense. Why endanger anyone else when I have my own personal wrecking crew? My thoughts, exactly. For now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. 
We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. It's possible they're in on it. Uh, you may be right, but there's no way to tell until you get in there. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. Um looking for something. Aren't we all? Uh, for Harley. She sent me. Funny. She didn't mention that. Why, Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then... Something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway. With the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. But it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up, my sunshine. you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Wayne? 
The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him, betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. I hadn't taken you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there are more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. And they all fell down To the deep to drown To the dark to drown He used to sing that to me. My dad made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. I can tell he meant a lot to you. He did, till he blew his brains out. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black side, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us, but you actually care for some people. Like that girl. What's her face, uh, Brittany? No, Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. No? No, I think it was Brittany. Sorry, I barely know her. <laughs> you're cute when you're front. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Yeah, friends are great, except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place, except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You, and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But, weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you must have missed something. Catwoman and I are loyal. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert, I ain't taking your word for it. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? 
I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. Take that! <clears throat> You're hitting him already. I never wanted it to come to this, but we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but... This is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. You know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but... I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Perfect. Because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Wooden. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. been fun. Bane, get him inside. <laughs> you can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? And I hope you rot in hell. Oh, so much fire. I want to save that heat for later. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. War always carries a cost. And my war on crime is no different. The truth is, no matter how hard I fight, sometimes I have to lose. Lotus. Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Harley's back is against the wall. If she has Riddler's blood, she'll be incredibly dangerous. 
I hardly know what she's going to do next. Harley? No. Director Waller. The time for talking is over. What she understands is brute force. All squads move in! What the hell are you doing here? You steered me wrong at every turn! <laughs> you prevented everything. I wouldn't put money on your chances of walking out of here. I need you. The joke needs a punchline. This is so exciting. It's gonna be a blast! <laughs>